Welcome back to What's the Story. I am Dan Kennedy and I am joined by Emilio Menzies. Emilio, thank you for taking the time to join me. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, my friend. Old friend by now. <laughs> Absolutely. This is our third time trying this. But uh, tonight is your first show of 2023, right? Mm -hmm. And you are on the road supporting the West Coast leg of the U.S. tour for the Necromantics. Uh, what are you looking forward to seeing when playing with these guys besides the bass? Oh gosh, uh, I've been a Necromantics fan since high school. I mean, forever. And super catchy anthems, big part of our scene. Always liked them. I don't know. I lo I I'm looking forward to hearing like Subcultural Girl or Necrophilia. All the hits. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. All right, so your eponymous EP, Dark Ride by Dark Ride, it's out available right now for download on CD, on Bandcamp. And it's out of print on vinyl. When are we going to see another print of vinyl on this guy? Um, I do want to repress it in a different uh, variant of the wax, maybe one or two of them, uh, once I have the new record done. So hopefully I could do them both, like come out with a brand new one and a repress of the first one. We'll see. Okay, so you just brought up new music. Fans have been clamoring for new music. Uh, what are you working on right now? How many songs? Is it going to be another EP? Is it full length? So I do kind of keep the stuff a secret. Uh, I like to surprise people. But yeah, it's definitely not an EP. No, it's, there's a lot of meat on the bone. Okay. Uh, I've been playing some of the songs live, like Rewind and uh, Coffin. We played a few times live. Um, but yeah, you'll just have to wait and see. There's a reason it's taken so long. It's got to be just right. It's got to be perfect. Okay. And uh, this, one, this one, like before, is being produced by Randy Moore, oh, yeah. your, your sometimes former bandmate, uh, sometimes current bandmate. Uh, well, tell me what, what Randy's bringing to the making of this record. Uh, Randy, I mean, he's family from his time in Stellar Corpses with me and uh, our personal life. And he's just got such a good ear mm -hmm. for music and for thinking outside the box. If you talk to the guy, it's like talking to a musical encyclopedia, not just your punk or rock or metal, all, all, um, genres it's pretty yeah. impressive so yeah him and uh Ulov have both been my uh producers for both of these pieces so yeah okay. i got two guys who are real good real good ears yeah yeah so uh, w what can you tell me about this uh, super secret project that randy's working on right now and if you can't tell me anything about that maybe you could tell me something just a little bit about this new project that he's got coming up with andy sipka and what do you think about this him blowing up and he is I mean, you brought him into this music thing when oh. he was just a little kid fan. Yeah, I mean, the thing the thing with Randy is nobody gave it to him. He worked really hard for it. Yeah, absolutely. He worked real t uh, real hard and put a lot of his heart into it. Uh, I don't know I, I don't know what you're talking about in terms of a secret project. Oh, well, he told me yeah. what, what he's doing right now is secret. Uh, so yeah. I, 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 I guess yeah, everybody loves a mystery, though. It's, it's better that way. But I'm sure whatever it is, he deserves it. And uh, I'm sure I'd be very proud of him. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So... Um, is there any chance that you're going to be able to get up on stage and play with the Necromantics tonight? No, I mean, I, w I would. That'd be really cool, but no. No. No, I no. mean, that's, you know, they've, they've got it down. They're, yeah. they're the, the badasses. They don't need, they don't they don't need, need a little old Emilio. <laughs> yeah. All right. All but, right. you know, maybe someday it'd be cool. I'd like to cover one of their songs one of these yeah. days. It'd be awesome. So, um, living dead or living dead, who would you most like to fight? Oh, any fucking pedophile piece of shit. Maybe that piece of shit singer from The Lost Prophets. Uh, any of those monsters. Okay. Yeah, any of those guys deserve it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, cool. I bury pedophiles. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> and since you are um, the godfather of Santa Cruz horror punk, people are yelling your name right <laughs> now. Tell me what, what's up and coming. What are we looking for next coming up in the horror punk scene? Um, I'm sorry, I was a little distracted. Say that one more time. <laughs> Well, what are we coming up to? What, what should we be looking forward to in the horror punk scene? What's, what's the next up and coming thing? Um, I'm a big fan of Jess O'Lantern, who's a, a singer songwriter on the East Coast in New York City, who actually sang on one of my brand new songs. Oh. Yeah, and is incredible. Really good, powerful voice and like really creative vocally. Um, I also like Evelyn's Casket a lot. They're really good. Uh, Zombies' new record, I've had the pleasure of already hearing it. And it's fucking mind blowing and worth the wait and super good tones. Uh, the guitarist for Jared is like one of my favorite musicians in the scene and I think he's just really done killer. So Awesome, yeah. awesome. Look forward to that. Thank you, Emilio. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for having me. Leave us your comments below. We'll have a great conversation about Emilio, about Dark Ride, and uh, about Santa Cruz uh, scene. What's the story? What's the story? <laughs>